So out of this, we were discussing. This conference will now code. be so recorded. Tax with the base station. In turn, base station interacts with two elements. One is FME, and second element is serving the address. Right. So E node being taxed with serving gateway whenever it is pumping user data. Whenever uh, E node being taxed with MME whenever it is pumping the control data. Okay. So we have a user data, we have a control data, and we have a mobile, and we have an so further, further, whenever you make any request, okay, all requests are made, okay, to MME only. MME in turn interacts with serving gateway. Okay, so now ultimately all the final request goes to the principal of the college, that is P gateway. Okay, so that is PDN gateway. So this guy is the manager. But this guy is the decision maker. Okay, he takes the decision. So, what happens is, so whenever I make, okay, basically I have one specific request. So, some small, small request will be handled by this guy only. Small, small request like handoffs or uh, tracking area updates or small, small other requests will be taken care by your manager only. So something related with your admission, something related with your allocation of your seat number, okay, all those things will be responsibility of the college principal, right? So that's the reason, okay. So the major responsibility of this node is during it comes whenever you request an attach, means you request an admission to the college, okay. So basically when you request an attach, Okay. Basically, whenever you request an attach from the mobile, okay, so whenever you request an attach from the mobile, this is the mobile phone, so whenever you make a request to an attach, so this request will go to mobility management entity, from MME the request will go to serving gateway, then serving gateway will uh, tell it to the P gateway. So now this guy is the guy who makes the decision. He is the decision maker. He is the decision maker. Okay. So for the connection, means if a mobile want to get connected with the network, who is the decision maker? P gateway is the decision maker. So now basically what happens is before interacting with P gateway okay MME collects the information of the user from the database that is the HSS. Okay home subscriber server okay so this full forms you should be knowing MME is mobility management ent entity as gateway is serving gateway. HSS is home subscriber server. P gateway is PDN gateway. Okay so mobiles user profile MME gets from HSS. What profile? Mobiles user profile. Now the question is what do you mean by the user profile? Okay, user profile means your history. Okay, what is your history? So for example, if I want to go for a loan, what I have to do? Okay, or if I, if I want to go for a loan, what I have to do? Only I have to give my PAN card number to the bank where I want to take a loan. So what they people, what those people will do? Okay, those people will interact to the database and get back all your details. That is called as user, user profile. They get all your details. In your details, they will know, okay, what all the subscription you are subscribed to, what is the quality of the service you are subscribed to, 
okay so what is uh, the apn you have to interact to a lot of things are there okay all those things are called as user profile i'll come on to the east part okay later on so your user profile will be collected from the database and mme knows now the user profile of the user so now using that user profile what mme will do is mme will tell to serving gateway so this particular mobile wants to create one tunnel between mobile to the ptn or it wants to attach what serving gateway will do is serving gateway will further interact with p gateway okay that is the pdn gateway it interacts with the p gateway or the pdn gateway after interacting with the pdn or p gateway or pdn gateway so what happens is it will come to know okay so it interacts with the pdn gateway okay now this and tell that this user wants to make a call and this is the profile of the user so based on this profile based on this profile what this p gateway will do is p gateway will interact with one more unit that is called as pcrf so you which unit pcrf now what pcrf will do is pcrf will interact with the external database regarding the user profile saying that this is the user okay this is the user this user is requesting for so and so quality of service okay now p gateway will ask for pcrf and pcrs pcrf will request it for pdn and pdn will further respond to pcrf yes this particular user for this particular user this particular profile is possible this quality of service is possible get my point so this quality of service is possible so based on that particular quality of service now pcrf will tell to p gateway yeah for this user this is the quality of the service we can provide based on the feedback of the pcrf based on the feedback of the pcrf what p gateway will do is p gateway will now create a tunnel says that okay now i am creating a tunnel okay i am creating a tunnel okay i'll repeat it again don't worry okay i am creating a tunnel or i am creating a bearer with requested quality of service or the quality of service which has been suggested by the pcrf so that's why pcrf is called as qos negotiator between pdn to p gateway okay so now once i get the quality of service once i know what is the quality of service to be used okay based on this quality of service what p gateway will do is okay i'm creating the bearer with this quality of service and will tell to the okay and will tell to the serving gateway yeah i'm creating this particular user with this quality of service i'm accepting it with this quality of service i'm expecting it i'm accepting it okay and i'm providing this is the ip address for this particular user and this is the id what i'm giving for that particular bearer okay what is it ip now based on all these things the serving gateway will talk to the mme and will say yaar congratulations your request has been accepted by the head of the department or the principal p gateway now okay you can congratulate your student saying that his admission got guaranteed so based on its feedback now what mme will do is mme will tell the mobile yes see for you this fees has been assigned by the principal these are the quality of services you will be accessing in the college okay and this is what is the your roll number this is the ip address whatever you are having so it will send attach accept so then definitely what you will say yeah thank you so much i got an admission in your college okay so i will say okay thank you okay and i'll say attach complete 
so this is how actually the attached process is done but our discussion is not on the attached process our discussion is on what exactly this p gateway is doing getting my point what exactly this p gateway is doing so coming back again okay, just repeating it i'll just write, write down three liners first is p gateway is allocating a dynamic ip to ue who have made an attach that's the first point right and the second point is these are the functionalities of which node pdn gateway Just a second. Give me a minute. Give me a moment. <coughs> so the first responsibility is allocating an IP address. Who does the allocation of IP address? P gateway is allocating an IP address to UE. Second thing is, okay. So uh, second thing is, it creates, okay. It is a decision maker or it creates the EPS bearer with an ID, with an EPS ID, EPS bearer ID. So it creates an EPS. Okay. So, an EPS bearer. This EPS bearer can be two. Either it can be a default Okay, it can be a default or dedicated. It can be either a default bearer or a dedicated bearer. So, the EPS bearer is created by the P gateway. So what do you mean by EPS bearer? EPS bearer is nothing but okay, a tunnel between what is this EPS bearer? Okay, tunnel between mobile to P gateway. Okay, a tunnel between mobile to P gateway is called as EPS A tunnel. So this tunnel using this tunnel only user data flows okay a tunnel between Mobile to P gateway, the tunnel between mobile to P gateway is called as an EPS bearer. A tunnel between mobile to 
the gateway is called as GPS. Okay, so this bearer creation is the very important part. This is created by whom? P gateway. So using which the data goes. So that is the second most important point. Third point is so P gateway okay communicates with with PCRF for quality of service negotiation means it will ask for PCRF to decide what quality of service is I have to fix it it sends it this is what is uh, what I am planning but it says that you decide by talking it to the P gateway and uh, sorry PDN and you tell me what is the quality of service I can provide so now when I say quality of service so we have a lot of parameters like what should be the maximum bitrate okay what should be the uh, minimum or the guaranteed bitrate what should be the uh, what is it ART allocation retention uh, prioritization okay so a lot of things are there what should be the delay what should be the uh, losses a lot of things are there that we will be discussing so these are the three basic things P gateway is doing it is allocating a dynamic IP okay it is creating uh, an EPS bearer with an EPS ID Third thing is, it is communicating with PCRF for quality of service negotiation. That's it. Only three works. So that is what again I am repeating it. So again I am repeating it. The work of uh, uh, P Gateway. So this is mobile. This is base station. This is MME. This is serving gateway. This is uh, PDN gateway. This is PCRF. And this is PDN. So this is how the uh, network is looking. So now what is happening is. Okay. From mobile you make an attach request so it is like admission request or asking to create a tunnel okay so what you are making is you are making an attach request so this request goes to FM. right this request goes to MME. mme will talk to hss which is the database and gets its user profile. What it will get? It will get the user profile. So once it gets the user profile, so that user profile, MME with that user profile, it is saying, okay, it is requesting as gateway to create the bearer. So in this user profile, already what is the quality of service? This user is allocated. For example, you are subscribed to 2000 rupees plan or 100 rupees plan, 500 plan. So all the details are present here in HSS. For example, I buy a SIM card. So when I buy a SIM card, there are options. If, you, if your offer is Reliance Geo, for example. So there are 299 plan, 399 plan, 799 plan, 2000 rupees plan, 10,000 rupees plan. So based on your profile, your plan, your user profile depends and your quality of service depends. So when a mobile makes a request to the MME saying that here I want to get connected. First of all, MME will check in the database what exactly this particular user's profile is, means what exactly this particular user's subscription is. So it requests HSS and HSS picks that from the database and gives it to the MME saying that this is the user. So he wants this user's quality of services this much only. 
Okay, for example, if your bank means you you are only subscribed to 5 Mbps, you will never be allocated 20 Mbps of data or 100 Mbps of data. You will only get 5 Mbps, isn't it? So that is the quality of service what HSS can provide. Okay, what actually you are subscribed is present in HSS based on your profile. HSS will give the feedback to the MME. So based on that, what MME is doing is MME is requesting to create a bearer based on the user profile. Okay, it says that this user's profile is this. Okay, and you create a bearer for this. And the same thing is forwarded to the P gateway. So create a bearer for this particular user with this specific quality of service. Okay, so now what P gateway is doing? Okay, P gateway has to make a decision, right? So it has to say, okay. This is the profile this particular user is subscribed to. So, first of all, I have to check whether I can allocate that or not. I mean, for example, I am subscribed to so-and-so profile, but still I have to check whether I can allocate that or not. So, I will tell to the PCR, please check whether we can allocate it or not. So, this is what the QS request. So, what PCR will do is, PCR will again request it the same thing to the PDN saying that whether can we for this user can we can do you have the bandwidth to assign this quality of service is the quality of request is doing. So what the PDN will do here okay fine we can do it or we cannot do it we can only do this much the quality of service response it will give. But these are not the exact message names, okay? This quality of request in this one. Okay, now quality of response, I got it. This is what we can allocate to this user. So now based on this PCR, will tell P gateway, yes, here we can allocate so and so quality of service. There may be changes or it can be same what I have been requested. So at the end of the day, I got some response saying that this is the you for this user, this quality of service we can allocate. So much of discussion is done for allocating one user's quality of service. Now based on that, P gateway will take the decision for creating the bearer. Okay, that is what I told you, right? So based on that, what it will do? It will create the EPS bearer. After doing what? After communicating with PCRF for quality of service. Okay, P gateway what it do is, it talk to PCRF for quality of service, then based on that, we got some data, based on that it is creating the bearer with an IP, with, with an ID and allocating one, okay, and allocating one dynamic IP to it. So now what it will do is, it will create an uh, EPS bearer. It will create one EPS bearer and it will allocate one IP address and it will send it to the serving gateway and serving gateway will pass that to the MME. MME will then say attach has been accepted. Yeah, any questions? Someone HSS has already given the QS quality parameters. Yeah, this is mean see one thing is uh, for example, you go to a bank, your requirement today is to withdraw 50 lakh rupees. Your requirement is that. Okay, so and you are eligible for 50 lakh rupees. You are eligible for withdrawing 50 lakh rupees per day. So when you go and ask the cashier, MME, Saying that I want to withdraw some, I want to get connected with the bank and withdraw. First of all, it will go and check your uh, profile. Whether you are eligible for 50 lakhs withdrawal or not. So that withdrawal capacity, MME got it. Your user profile means this quality of service, this particular profile is user is eligible for. No, no, whatever eligibility it has. Means if you are 10 lakhs eligible, then MME will tell, tell to the head, the manager saying that yeah, this guy is eligible for 10 lakhs. Can we, can we give him 10 lakh rupees cash or not? 
or okay, whatever the eligibility your eligibility is you're getting it from hss so once you get the eligibility now based on the eligibility i'll make a request to the p gateway saying that this particular user is eligible for this quality of service can we provide or not now what p gateway do it can't do take the decision by itself it will ask pcr or pcr will ask pdnr why this guy is asking for this can we do it or not so then it will get some some value so based on that value this guys will say not 50 lakhs we can because in the cash in the bank we only have 20 lakhs so for today we will provide him 20 lakhs cash even though you asked for 50 lakhs cash even though you are eligible for 50 cash you are only being provided with 20 lakhs cash saying that 20 lakhs you are eligible to will tell it to mme and mme will say yeah this has been accepted by the big gateway getting my point so your quality your means your profile has been picked that's it but what is allocated is decided by the P gateway. Okay. So any questions on top of this? So very important guys. Okay. All, all the story is nowhere present. Okay. All the story is nowhere present in any material. They will only directly say these are the functionalities. Okay. Directly I will just show you how it works out. This is already give the user profile data. Exactly. Whatever. This, yes, there. yes. Then why be checking in PCR? Because PCRF has to talk to the external PDN saying that can we have so much of bandwidth for this particular user or not? There is no bandwidth. In the server, how can I allocate? Again, it has to talk to server, right? Without talking anything to server, because this, from the server only the data will be pumped. Without Telling server I established so much of bandwidth and server is not able to pump what I'll do. Not possible, right? For that reason, we have kept one central negotiator. Otherwise, there is no need of PCRF only. Right? So PCRF guy is the guy who only does the negotiation of your quality of service. Nothing else it has. Okay. There is a separate billing gateway. No, it does not. Even though it is called as uh, policy charging rate factor or rate function, whatever you can call it as, but it will not do charging. There is a separate billing gateway. So that does the charging actually. That can be there in HSS or that can be there in PCRF. It can be connected. It will be connected, but there will be, it will be a separate database which will does the billing part. Okay, so we can have a look on what exactly P Gateway is doing. Okay. So let us see what P gateway is doing. So just have a reading on this, then I'll tell. Just have a reading on the points, these points.
okay so now let us have So now let us have a look. Okay. So now let us have a look on how exactly the things are working out. So now basically, okay. So basically, what happens is, so we have something called as a PCRF policy charging. Okay. Uh, and uh, so this I'll talk on, okay, PCRF or P PCEF, okay. So now the first thing is, okay, so this P gateway, this P gateway, this is the P gateway, so it is, which is talking to serving gateway, which is talking to PCRF, which is talking uh, to your external period, okay. So there are so many connectivities. So now out of this, okay, you can just neglect these two things. Okay, first two messages, I'll come back on that once discussing PCR. So you can see user packet filtering is done. Okay, so what is this user uh, packet filtering is? So it is like, uh, so for example, okay, for example, So on top of the three functionality, these are the added functionalities. For example, this is your P gateway. This is your PDN. So we have a P gateway and we have a PDN. So basically, Okay, we have P gateway and we have a PDN. Now basically what happens is, from P gateway to PDN, for one user, okay, so there are multiple users. There are some thousands of users. And there are thousands of bearers which are established, right? So what this P gateway will do is P gateway will receive all these packets and does filtering of these packets. Filtering means it will, okay, it has to, <coughs> it has to uh, pass the right packet on the right uh, bearer. So what it has to do is it has to pass, okay. So right pa right packet onto the right bearer. So that it will do. <coughs> so using uh, something called as TFT. Okay. So using uh, something called as TFT. This is a template. Okay. So that is how called as traffic. Flow template. So what this will do is, this TFT traffic flow template will be added to every packet. Such that the right packet goes to the right user. Right user. Any more point? So here we have one TFT. And here we have some TFT. Okay. So this discussion I don't want to go in deep now. Okay, later on sessions will be going on. So what I can say is in one single word, this P gateway acts like a filter for every data packet which is coming. It acts like a filter. So when acting like a filter, okay, so what this P gateway will do is it will add TFT traffic flow template 
if you add traffic flow template this is a template uh, what the gateway adds for every data packet that is being pumped that is the most important thing and the second important thing is okay so apart from this so we also have so if you if you go, if you just go here okay so we have something called as tft okay so we have something called as tft traffic flow template so that is how the fat packet filtering is done we will discuss this later on so this p gateway is also connected with this billing gateway billing gateway so the number of packets which are passed via this pcrf okay so basically we have two ways of billing either billing will be done over here which is connected with one billing gateway or directly to this one billing gateway will be connected so means number of packets which are going via this pdn are calculated based on that the billing is done okay means for example how do i know that how do i know that okay so your uh, your your imagine your daily limit is 1 gb your daily limit is 1 gb you have downloaded one movie right you have downloaded one movie when you have downloaded one movie and you have crossed 1 gb and now you touched 1.1 gb or 1.2 gb what will happen your speed will decrease so who will take care about all these things when how many packets went the counting is done where at p gateway only p gateway does the counting how many packets went how many gb of data was pumped based on that it will tell to the billing gateway okay once it tell to the billing gateway ultimately what happens is okay your quality of service will decrease and ultimately what happens is your throughput will decrease okay there a lot of story here i'll tell you later on okay so uh, that is charging support is what it is doing p gateway and what else lawful interception you can do the recording from here and an ip will be allocated uh, to the uh, user okay and uh, packet routing forwarding to the external this is to external pdn packet screening and firewall all these things you can neglect it okay so in other words what i can say is what is filtering using tft traffic flow template second thing is talking to billing gateway and counting the number of packets third thing is recording okay so that is recording your call okay so you can record the call fourth thing is allocating an ip okay and fifth thing is creating an bearer okay creating a bearer id and bearer and the last thing is okay communicating with pcr for qos negotiation okay so these are the functionalities of which node these are the functionalities of your p gateway pdn gateway got it packet is screening packet is screening marking means uh, some virus this that is firewall it acts like a firewall firewall means like every laptop has a firewall right so you know what is firewall right 
like uh, some uh, attacks will be done or some uh, virus is sent okay that things will be those kind of packets are rejected by the pdf files that's like a file now. so after this Interesting, right? The story of LTE. Hmm? So we are at one juncture where. So this is how the story of LTE is going. So now we know some part of LTE. We know what node is doing what work, right? Okay, so this is how the story of uh, the serving gateway and uh, the whole thing is going on. So this is how we have a mobile. This is how we have a base station. And we have an MME. We have a serving gateway. Okay, and then we have a P gateway. Okay, and then we have a PCRF, and then we have a PDN. Okay. And then we have a PDN. And then we have an HSS. Okay. So we have a mobile. We have an EMOB. We have an MME. We have a serving gateway. We have an HSS, PCRF, and P gateway. So we know the work of mobile, we know the work of EMOB, we know the work of MME, we know the work of serving gateway, we know the work of P gateway. Now we should know the work of other node that is. PCRF, it only does one work. Okay. So it actually does QoS negotiation with PDN. Means it will ask PDN to, yeah, I want this QoS and it will give, that's it. So it says that P QoS negotiation.
and second thing is sometimes uh, it is also responsible for your charging or billing purpose it will talk separately to a billing gateway and it does the billing okay. two things that's it QS policy negotiation with PDM. Okay. And then determines how packet should be accounted. Billing. Okay. So, and any new rules every time new brothers has to be set up that you can neglect. So, you can say, like in simple words, two things QS negotiation and that's the billing. Okay, so this is PCR. And uh, coming on to the HSS, HSS is your database. Where your user profile is present. So what do you mean by user profile? Your MG number. Okay, your uh, authentication keys. So, in fact, authentication key is a random key. It is taken randomly, but still I am saying an authentication key. More importantly, your secret key. Which is also called a security keys. Okay, and your quality of service. So, what quality of service you are eligible for? And your subscription details. Your location information, okay, exactly in which location you are in present with respect to tracking area and uh, to which APN you have to speak to, means to which P, P, K, P gateway you have to talk to, okay, APN is nothing but access point node, access point node is nothing but P gateway. So to which P gateway you are eligible to talk to. Means you can make a request for a number. So your MZ number, your authentication keys. Okay. So anyway, this is taken randomly. Uh, your secret means security keys, your quality of service, your subscription details, your location information, and your APN details. All your details are present in HSS. So whenever you make a request, Okay, MME will pick all these details from MME. It does authentication this side. And using your QS, it requests for creating a bearer. Two things it does. Getting my point? So MME does two works. MME will talk to HSS. MME will talk to HSS. And picks your user profile okay it does authentication and security using those keys okay it does authentication and security using those keys And second thing is okay, it does authentication security using those keys. And second thing is 
MME will talk to okay MME will talk to serving gateway and P gateway MME will talk to serving gateway and P gateway for creating a pair. So here it will give your quality of service details. Okay, but all this data is picked from where? This, 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 this from HSS. This side it sends this, this side it sends this. Ultimately your attach will happen. So in a single statement what I can say is HSS home subscriber server is responsible for storing all these details. That's it. So these are the works of the complete network. Right? So UE, E node B, MME, Serving Gateway, HSS, PCRF, P Gateway and PDN. PDN is like an external server. Okay, PDN is nothing but external server. Packet data network. So it stores like your Google info or your Yahoo info. Okay, or all. Okay, it's a database. Okay. Means it's a server, it's a database which connects different data. It's a server which connects different databases. Okay, it's a server. Simply you call it as actually you call it a server only, not PDN in real time also. It's a server. So you connect to the server, server will talk to the different uh, databases. Okay. So this is how it is working out. So anyways guys, I am ending for today. Remaining part of the discussion we will uh, discuss tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. So any questions you have, you can uh, discuss today.